Hi there folks and welcome to Double R TV's broadcast of tonight's um, Skip Barber Australian Strength of Field race. Uh, we're coming to you tonight live from Lime Park and we're here to um, watch a um, 25 lap race of the Skip Barbers. So let's have a bit of a look at the track and the, um, the weather tonight. So having a look at uh, the track a total length of two kilometers it's quite a tight little track but uh, well suited to the skip barbers um, quite a nice long straight and it's quite twisty off that straight into turn one it's going to take a, a bit of finesse for the drivers tonight having a look at the weather um, it's partly cloudy with a wind speed of zero kilometers per hour uh, and a track temperature of 37 degrees Celsius so it's fairly hot out there but um, with seven minutes to go till the end of uh, um, the warm-up I think we are on um, we'll be all set to race So we're currently having a look at uh, Kurt Ma here, so we'll jump on um, board with one of these drivers and we'll let you have a lap around here while we uh, finish their warm up and qualifying. So as you saw folks, uh, we're riding with Ian Bevan at the moment, he just set a new fast slap of a 58 second lap, so uh, this race is going to go pretty quickly tonight. I wouldn't be expecting any pit stops at all tonight, it's just a sprint to the end um, over the 25 lap race. 18 uh, drivers here tonight folks, so it's uh, a very good field for uh, our strength of field race. Um, on the iRacing service tonight. For those of you new to um, iRacing or you're not sure what a strength of field race is, it's basically where they try to get a lot of um, high rated drivers onto the server at the same time, um, which is generally they try to get the highest uh, strength of field or the highest rated drivers in which means the better they do in this race the more um, um, I rating they uh, will uh, get for doing well in in a race so that's what it's all about folks but uh, either way it's a lot of fun for us to watch and um, it should be an exciting race tonight so having a look at uh, we had 35 drivers turn up tonight so the field has been split into two which means both uh, there will be two races we're covering the uh, top split of the Australian strength of field uh, race for tonight uh, we've still got another four minutes to go till the end of qualifying but we'll have a look as at the moment we've got Ian Bevan uh, in provisional pole with James Keane in second I uh, Igor Aga, okay, <laughs> Igor Aga 
uh, I can't pronounce that, sorry, in fourth, Johan in third, uh, fifth is Simon Schultz, Kazuki Ichikara, Ichihara in sixth, Lance Perkins seven, uh, eighth is Ben Conroy, uh, Ben Lucas is in nine, Anthony Mansarella is provisionally in tenth, eleventh is uh, Benedict Westerholt, Brian Hender 12th, 13th Jeffrey Williamson, 14th uh, Craig Deshen, 15th Kurt Ma, 16th Ryan King, 17th Matt Kosher and rounding out our field at the moment is uh, Brent Tucker. So before we get into the race folks I'd just like to uh, thank our sponsors, Book Sorted, um, for all your hassle free payroll if you run a a business or uh, a private contractor uh, definitely check out Book Sorted and they will uh, definitely help you with your your uh, your books so you can contact them at www.booksorted.com.au So a little bit about this class folks uh, while we wait for them to finish qualifying. Uh, basically uh, the Skip Barber is a, develop, a driver development series. They can tune these cars but they're really uh, quite limited in what they can do. Um, really they can just change the cast of the camber, some suspension settings on them. Um, they can't change the downforce or anything like that. They uh, run a uh, four-cylinder Mazda engine and they all run the same engine configuration so I guess in Australia these would be equivalent to the Formula Ford category and uh, they're a great little car they generally get a very good draft and they're evenly matched which means um, generally the racing's quite tight we don't often see too many drivers uh, making a break um, and with the slipstream down the straight uh, we can expect um, some passing uh, down that straight if they can get into that slipstream but as I said these cars can pick up uh, a slipstream quite easily um, they're quite a light little single seater a lot of fun to drive um, and they do um, push the driver a fair bit which makes them a very good um, development vehicle and training vehicle Tonight the guys are running treaded tyres, no slicks at all. Um, so as we have a look and see uh, Ian, uh, Brian Hender, sorry, uh, go off the track. So yeah, no slick tyres, treaded tyres on these and um, yeah, they're a lot of fun. So Ian Bevan at the moment has got a provisional pole, uh, fastest lap of a 58.063. Um, James Keane is currently in second with a qualifying time of 58.279. Now you're probably wondering um, what uh, the guys are doing qualifying tonight. Well with the new iRacing uh, setup, um, they uh, they get to qualify before the race. Okay folks we're just waiting for the grid to come up so uh, we'll go through the grid quickly while we're waiting for them to uh, start. So Ian Bevan in pole followed by James Keane second, uh, third Johan Larigurdi, fourth Igor Aka and I can't pronounce it, sorry. And rounding out our top five is Lance Perkins. Six, Anthony Mansarella. Seventh is Simon Schultz. Uh, eighth, Kazuki Ikihara. And ninth is Ben Lucas. And our tenth qualifier tonight is Brian Hender. So they normally have a couple of minutes to uh, grid up and then we will be in the starters hands for tonight's, um, tonight's race.
Hi Kevin, uh, welcome to Double R TV's commentary box. Uh, just in time, mate. We're uh, gridded up and we're about to start the race. Okay, folks. So the uh, cars are on standby green now. Flag, Red f uh, revs are rising, and we have a green flag. A fairly good start. We saw there uh, James Keane jump straight across the track to try to block off uh, Igor there, but he was unsuccessful with that. Uh, as we go into the first corner, we have Ian Bevan in first, uh, followed by uh, Igor and James Keane. We did hear a bit of a bang in the background there, folks, and uh, uh, but it looks like most of the drivers are uh, cleanly through the first couple of corners. With Ian Bevan in first, James Keane second, Johan, or James Keane, sorry, is in third, with Johan in uh, second at the moment. So it looks like uh, into that first corner there may have been an incident with the number of drivers. So we're going to uh, jump back there and see if we can see what happened as they complete that first lap. So we're having a look at Ryan King here, because the incident happened further back. He's got uh, Kurt Ma right behind him, who was also involved in uh, an incident. So we'll uh, follow through here into the first corner. Oh yeah, we've got uh, Ryan King there turned around. Kurt Ma joined him, and we had uh, Benedict Westerholt also turning around. But the good news is, folks, uh, they are continuing in this race. So having a look back up the front at the moment, Ian Bevan uh, has made a uh, jump for that lead with James King now uh, taking Johan uh, for that second position. Uh, third is Igor and uh, a fourth is Igor, fifth is Lance Perkins, sixth is Anthony Mansarella. As we see, James Keane set the fastest lap for this race, a 58.275, folks. So they are right down there in uh, qualifying times already uh, as we have a look at Johan um, in fifth position. So there's a good battle, battle developing here, folks, between um, Johan Igor and uh, Lance Perkins here for that fourth position. As we can see, uh, Lance back there in the uh, Maverick Welding uh, Skip Barber. So having a look at the back out of Simon Schultz's car, who's currently in fifth position, uh, and he's got Igor uh, in that number eight coming right up. So as we follow down here, folks, uh, you'll see the slipstream take effect, and we should see Igor... Uh, making a move here but it looks like he's gonna to have to go around the uh, outside which is not really the best uh, way as you could see he's had to back out of that folks um, and Simon retains fifth position so these guys are having a great little battle here but up front it's uh, uh, Ian isn't having it his own way. He's got James Keane there in the Maverick Welding, uh, Skip Barber there, um, um, sitting in that slipstream. But also we've got Johan uh, in third there, not letting either of these drivers go. So it's anyone's race at this stage uh, with 22 laps remaining. So you can see now James uh, did a 58.015. So these guys are absolutely pushing it out there. Um, I think, in fact, that time is quicker than uh, the qualifying time. So um, these guys are, are really um, going strong. And having a look at that gap, there's only two tenths of a second uh, between first and second at the moment. Johan has dropped back to 1.9 seconds from this battle. Um, and we'll see if he can uh, close it up a little bit. So we'll 
take a lap around here with James. As you can see, he's going off the track. Uh, he's really pushing this uh, Skip Barber uh, to get the most speed out of this car to try to uh, reel in Ian Bevan at this stage. So you can see the slipstream just coming in now, but uh, the straight's just not long enough for that slipstream to really uh, take effect. So uh, James is really going to have to get a good run um, out of or through that last corner or the last couple of corners to hopefully uh, make a move on uh, Ian Bevan there. You can see just over that part of the track where they hit that hill the guys do get slightly airborne which uh, if they're not careful and they don't have that wheel straight it can uh, cause them to spin so through here uh, James really has to get a good run off here but uh, it's not going to be easy um, catching uh, Ian and as you can see these drivers and cars are absolutely uh, perfectly matched as uh, James Keane now gets into the 57.97 so that's definitely faster than qualifying time um, he was two tenths quicker than Ian Bevan and I'd say he's getting that fastest lap because he's getting that toe down the straight uh, which would be um, just make him all that quicker but he's definitely not uh, catching Ian uh, he's still two tenths of a gap between these two guys tonight As we can see them come back down onto the main straight again with 19 laps remaining. Uh, this race is uh, set to go down to the wire if uh, they continue. We can see now James Keane back into that draft. He just starts to close in and then they're into the brakes. So now we've had uh, Igor Arkangelsky uh, setting a new fastest time of a 57.96. So uh, that's brilliant now. Igor at the moment uh, is in third. So he's, uh, he's done a great job there to uh, start to pull these guys back. So having a look at our top five, where well, we see now James starting to close in on... Um, Ivan, uh, we've got Ivan Be oh, Ian Bevan, sorry, in uh, first position. Uh, second is James Keane in the Maverick Welding, uh, Skip Barber. Third is Igor. Uh, as we can see now, Ian starting to dive to the inside. He's starting to feel that pressure. Uh, that is perfectly okay. Yeah, oh, as they go too wide around this corner, um, James is going the long way. I don't think he's going to get it, but if you can hang on here, he might get him on the cutback. But no, Igor's having a, uh, a look as well. So uh, the pressure's certainly starting to mount on these top three as the, uh, as the race uh, comes into 17 laps remaining. So as I was saying, we saw Ian Bevan there uh, take to the inside. Um, these guys normally run under the rule of a one move rule, which means um, they will normally pick their position and hold it. However, every now and again down the straight, you will see them weaving. That's not to block so much. That is them trying to break that slipstream. As we can see, see now, James coming back down onto the straight and we'll ride with James as he's going into this corner. Side by side through turn one they go again. James has definitely got a good run through there but uh, he just can't make that move stick. So uh, unfortunately he'll um, he'll sit back in the second. Well, it's not unfortunate. I'm not barracking for him or anything, but uh, we'll see how uh, how he can go uh, in this race as he uh, now starts to get that draft up the back straight with Ian. Uh, we'll see if he can make that move. But these guys, these three guys, Ian, James and Igor, are definitely putting on a show tonight in this uh, Australia Skip Barber strength of field race.
So you can see there how Ian's taken the inside to go defensive and James is breaking a lot deeper but he's got to go around the outside and if he's not careful he's going to uh, have Igor up the inside so he's got to watch himself through there but uh, as they go around with 15 laps remaining. So going through the uh, whole field at the moment folks, Ian Bevan in first, Keane second, third, Ash Kengelski fourth, uh, Johan Schultz in fifth, Ikahara sixth, Anthony Mansarella is uh, in seventh place at the moment, followed by his teammate Lance Perkins. Ryan King is in, as we can see now, coming back down. All three are getting in that slipstream. James having a look on the outside, but he better watch himself. Igor's on the inside. Again, they go through, and um, again, that move uh, could not be made uh, but this is bringing Johan into this race so soon we're going to have a battle pack of, uh, of four uh, skip barbers here folks so looking further back down the field ninth is King 10th Conroy Williamson's in 11th at the moment uh, Matt Koshaw's 12th uh, and 25 seconds from the lead um, 13th Deshan 14th Westerholt Kurt Ma is currently in uh, 15th in the book sorted hassle free payroll uh, skip barber uh, Lucas 16th 17th Brian Hender and one lap down and Brian Tucker is uh, 18th and three laps down as we can see now side by side they're going uh, too wide back into this corner James is looking again on the outside but as we've seen that's a long way around and Igor's putting it up on the inside there and uh, James nearly found himself dropping down to third there but uh, he managed to hold on to that but now he's got not only Igor in the mix but Johan is also uh, having a great run here as well in the number um, three uh, Skip Barber. So having a look out of the nose of Igor at the moment and uh, we'll stay with this so you can see the uh, the action as we come into that first corner. So you can see the guys now starting, Ian's trying to break that stream, he's going defensive forcing James around the outside. Uh, this is like a mirror move, now James too wide through here but Ian can just get it in but as we can see here how close Igor's getting and don't forget he's got Johan uh, right behind him at this stage and there's a there's the camera view from Johan's point of view so um, with 12 laps to go folks uh, there's only point what is that point oh six three of a second separating first and second at the moment um, and six tenths of a second separating uh, the top four in this race. So we can see once again Ian's going to the inside which pretty much is forcing uh, James to go the outside as we can see Igor's going through the outside now forcing James to tuck in um, will he be able to hold it that is the question it looks like he did so uh, Igor is still in third and as we've seen going through there on the outside they can get a run but uh, the other guys can just uh, drive them straight up and uh, and get this uh, position back if you're wondering why they're going on the outside folks well they don't have much of a choice because of the way the drivers are taking that defensive line but they're hoping if they can get side by side through that corner and uh, it'll give them the inside for the next corner to make that pass but these cars are so closely matched um, uh, it's going to make passing extremely difficult as we can see again Ian having a look on the inside as they complete uh, 
uh, the 15th lap. James is going around the outside again. This is fantastic driving by these guys, but Ian just, uh, he's just just quick enough to hold that position and um, and force James to have to um, uh, settle for second at this stage of the race. So the top four now have a gap back to Ikihara in fifth of 6.33 seconds. I'm having a look through the field. There's not really uh, a lot of battling going on. Um, Matt Kosher and uh, Jeffrey Williamson are in a good battle at the moment with uh, Craig Deshen um, trying to close that gap. But the uh, action is down here. As we can see, the snake coming back onto the main straight. Uh, Johan, okay, so we've got Igor going around the outside again. James is tucking in there, going defensive, but Igor is having uh, Johan now having a look. But uh, as they come back to that switchback, uh, Igor should uh, hold on to that position, which he does. I guess with these guys so close and the slipstream uh, so, so closely matched, the only uh, hope these guys have is if they can... Uh, force the driver in front of them to make a mistake but uh, all these guys are very seasoned drivers as we can see further back now uh, Igor and Johan are getting into a good battle here for third and fourth and uh, they've dropped a bit off the other two um, but uh, they're fighting for uh, third at the moment so it doesn't take much as we can see the guys coming side by side uh, into turn one again uh, James is going around the outside but you'll see Ian coming on back James is pushing the issue this time though now he'll get that switch back and he makes that move stick but he's got to watch that undercut because uh, Ian will be uh, looking for revenge at this stage uh, further back at the moment we can see Johan now uh, starting to put the pressure on Igor for third position as they go side by side into the back part here. He's going to try that undercut um, and Igor goes defensive. So we'll see now if uh, Johan can make that move uh, stick but as we come down onto that main straight we can see James Keane now has taken the lead. He's uh, very closely followed by Ian Bevan at the moment. Uh, third and fourth is uh, at the moment we've got Igor in third, Johan in fourth. Further back Kazuki, Ikahara and Simon Schultz are having a great battle there for fifth and sixth. So um, uh, these guys are starting to close in as uh, Simon has a look on there. Uh, Kazuki's getting it a bit uh, um, sideways there, but he's uh, managing that drift as he goes wide out of that exit. As you can see, these guys are pushing it as well uh, in this uh, race, which is fantastic to see. Having a look at the back of Kazuki Ikihara now, we can see... Uh, uh, Simon Schultz there but we'll jump back up to our leader James Keane as James runs wide coming onto the straight he doesn't want to do that too many times because uh, if he does he's going to uh, have uh, Ian close up on him it looks like uh, James has a bit of uh, connection issue again tonight having a look back further here we've still got this great battle between Igor and Johan as Johan's having a look on the inside here but he just can't get it close enough there's not enough room and he doesn't really want to uh, touch here because if he does he can damage that uh, front wing which will uh, put paid to his chances of getting onto uh, the podium tonight So there's nothing separating these guys as Igor takes a defensive line, forcing Johan around the outside there. And um, further up here in the lead, we can see now Ian Bevan is starting to close up uh, on James Keane again with six laps remaining. As we can see further back here, Igor is driving extremely defensive here. Ian Bevan just set the fastest time, folks, 57.79 
uh, fantastic driving there as they go side by side around here uh, can Johan get he just doesn't have that power to make that stick but we'll jump back up here and we'll uh, follow our leaders So we can see Ian starting to get into that um, slipstream and we'll see what he can do coming down uh, onto this main straight. see Ian tucking in now he should jump out which he does now and he's going to be forced to try the outside but uh, it's uh, as we've seen it's a pretty hard move there and he's uh, getting it a bit uh, tailly through that corner so we'll just jump back on the replay here folks uh, it looks like we have had uh, Igor um, uh, have a bit of an incident so just jump back a bit further folks sorry about this and uh, we'll see if we can catch what happened so you can see Igor coming down here on the outside I think he's just going to run out of track as we can see him starting to get the car sliding coming into the corners yeah he just went too hot into there and he's uh, simply uh, run out of road he's done that all by himself folks so uh, bad luck there to Igor jumping back up to the front folks with three laps to go we have uh, Ian Bevan in second trying to uh, uh, pull in Keane but Keane's got a gap now of 0.8 of a second uh, third is Johan five seconds down Igor's still in uh, in fourth but he's nine seconds down and but he's got Ikihara uh, in fifth starting to close in there um, so he's going to have to put his head down and focus now to consolidate um, sixth we have Lance Perkins and 7th Anthony Mansarella. Conroy's in 8th 9th Ryan King rounding out at hot 10 is Matt Kosher as we see them go around again uh, with 2 laps to go So folks I'm going to stay on this view for this uh, last uh, for this lap so uh, crank it up and enjoy the sound of the uh, skip barber. So it's half a lap to go here we can see Ian Bevan's now closing in on um, James Keane. Uh, oh James runs wide there this is going to open it up here for Ian. Uh, we'll stay on this camera view folks as we run down to the line now Ian's looking for a great run holding on the outside here. Uh, it looks like at the moment Ian oh that's so close to call.
So let's jump back here, folks, and we'll uh, we'll just see how they went as they uh, came down to this line. And uh, as you can see here, uh, Ian's getting a fantastic run here through that last corner. Um, James Keane. go into super slow-mo here folks see if I can get a uh, there so the race has pretty much uh, finished there so uh, so close to call folks in fact that gap was um, uh, what was it 0 0.011 um, seconds so what that that's down to one thousandth of a second separated um, um, I'm just trying to get my overlay working and then I will take you through the things okay full results here the win tonight goes to James Keane in the Maverick Welding Evolution Racing Australia Skip Barber second fantastic drive there Ian Bevan uh, as you can see one thousandth of a second separated the guys tonight uh, in that race Don't know why I did that, folks. I just did. So sorry about that. Oh, dearie me. Uh, so where was I? Okay, Ian Bevan in third. Fourth is uh, Jay... Um, oh, man, I'm missing all this up tonight. One moment. Johan in third. Fourth, Igor. Fifth, Ikihara. Sixth was Lance Perkins. Se seventh, Anthony Mansarella. Uh, that's the... Uh, teammate to Lance and James Keane, um, eighth Ben Conroy, ninth is Ryan King I have here but uh, Matt Kosher is on the board for ninth with Ryan Kling in tenth. Eleventh was Jeffrey Williamson, C. Deshen in, uh, that was Craig Deshen sorry, twelfth, Simon Schultz thirteenth, 14th was um, Benedict Vesterholt, 16th Kurt Ma in the book sorted uh, Skip Barber, 17th Brian Hender and rounding out our 18 was Brant Tucker who unfortunately retired on lap 13 of this race. So uh, folks that's pretty much it from uh, uh, the Skip Barbers at Lime Rock tonight. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, our telecast. Um, before we go, one last uh, shout out to our uh, sponsor, Book Sorted. If uh, you need, if you're in small business or you're a um, contractor of any sort, uh, definitely contact Book Sorted uh, and they will have those books sorted. <laughs> yeah, so looking further ahead uh, of the week, folks, we're coming up to Easter here in Australia. So this um, Thursday, we have the Star Mazda Australian Championship, uh, round three. If you like your open wheeler action, folks, this is definitely a series you have to tune into. These guys, just like tonight's um, exciting race, the guys are really putting on a great show. You can see all the replays on our YouTube channel. Just look up Double R TV on YouTube and you can find, I think we've got 47 videos up there now. Moving on ahead, next Sunday is Easter Sunday. Um, I'm still waiting confirmation if the SEK Queensland GT3 Endurance Series will be going ahead or whether that won't be on this weekend. If it is on, uh, check out my Facebook page and I'll put a post up there. But if the race goes ahead, I will be broadcasting. Okay, folks, so if you liked the video, like always, uh, please press the like button. If you didn't like the video, just uh, leave a courteous comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in these broadcasts, and uh, I'll see if I can incorporate it. So uh, thank you very much uh, for tuning in tonight. My name's Bernie Weemers, and you've been watching Double R TV.